Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. shift among young people. Studies show millennials are less religious than their parents ever were, and that's a cause for concern among many of America's leaders. Our White House correspondent Jennifer Wishon takes a look at what it all means. Despite our Judeo-Christian roots, fewer Americans are identifying as Christians, while the number of Americans with no religion is growing at a record pace. Pew Research first surveyed more than 35,000 Americans about their religious views in 2007, then repeated the study seven years later. During that time, those who call themselves Christians dropped nearly 8 percent, driven by declines among mainline Protestant and Catholic congregations. Non-Christian faiths inched up ever so slightly, just over 1 percent. At the same time, though, Americans who say they're atheist, agnostic, or so-called religious nuns jumped by more than 6%, making the nuns now nearly 23% of the population. Shaming some kids in a local district are apparently being denied hot lunches after a new policy went into effect. A cafeteria employee quit because of it, and tonight she's speaking out. She spent two years working in the cafeteria at Wylandville Elementary, but last Thursday, Stacy Koltiska resigned after she had to take away hot meals from two children. His eyes welled up with tears. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget his name, the look on his face. The new policy at Cannon McMillan passed over the summer. In grades K through 6, the hot meal item will be replaced by a sandwich if $25 or more is owed to the district for lunches. For older kids, they will receive no lunch if the debt is $25. How long after your first day, the kids' first day back, did you actually have to enforce this? The very first week of school on Friday. After it happened a second time, she posted her experience on Facebook. It has been shared over 2,600 times. She says the children are the ones who are humiliated and embarrassed in the process. The woman I work with, she was trying to get my attention, but I didn't see it because we're serving so many kids to tell me before I gave him the chicken that he owed money to give him the cheese. But it was too late. He already had his tray. Koltiska says due to other policies, she had to then throw away the hot lunch after taking it from the child. The district says parents were notified in an email or by letter in August before the school year. Superintendent Matthew Daniels says this is about collecting money owed. A lesson. Well, this all came about during a history lesson on who has access to free speech, but some parents and students say the teacher, Lee Francis, went much too far. The picture taken by a student shows honors history teacher Lee Francis giving a lesson on the First Amendment after holding up an American flag, asking students for a lighter or scissors. And I put the flag on the ground and I take two steps with my right foot and I said this is an example of freedom of speech. As soon as the flag hits the ground and, and, and I step on it, two students got up and left immediately with no word, no disruption at all, got up and left. I assumed that something happened. Um, one student came to where I am and took the flag from me. Francis, who has relatives in the military, says he didn't intend to offend students, but rather drive home the Supreme Court's definition of free speech, as noted in the case Texas versus.